Now, lockdown gave us lots of chance to reflect on life. Queen guitarist Brian May was no exception. Listening to an old solo album, he decided it was as relevant today as it was in the early 90s and wants to introduce it to a new audience. We're going to speak to Brian in a moment, but first, here's the video for Back to the Light. Hello, Brian. How are you? Hi, Duncan. I'm good, thank you. So in that video, you're performing with your younger self. What was the thinking behind going back to your old music then? <laughs> I think it was because I identified with my younger self a lot more than I thought I would. I thought I would be older and wiser revisiting this album, which I made 30 years ago. But when I got immersed in it and wanted to polish it up and re reissue it for a new audience i just thought i'm still that boy i'm still the same person and how would it be to go back and be alongside him with my old band so we fixed it up i became a time traveler and made this little movie and it was a great feeling actually just to go back and revisit those times because yeah i'm still the same boy <laughs> you say it was great but of course the album was written at a difficult time for you wasn't it in the early 90s mm -hmm. yes it was and back to the light has a lot of darkness in it the album uh, and um, it's about the search for, for more optimism and a, and a good future. Looking at it now, I thought a lot of people will identify because we've been through some very dark times, all of us, I think, uh, with the COVID and everything. And um, I think it is a time for people to feel they want to be back to the light and try and find, if they, if they don't find their former selves, perhaps they find a better version of themselves to face the future. Uh, so that's, there's some of that to the to the record as well. One of the things that struck me about the beginning of the music video is that you're wearing a face mask, which is just something we could never have imagined a few years ago. How are you? Because yeah. lockdown was particularly tough for you and Anita health-wise, wasn't it? Yeah, we've been through a lot of stuff. And uh, it's I have to be thankful that we're here at all. Uh, the final blow, after all the physical stuff, we, we, got, we got the house flooded. So that was a, a sort of final blow because that takes away a lot of your feelings of security and a lot of our sort of treasured possessions oh, went up. Right or went down, I should say, into filthy water. And uh, I think we're still recovering from that. It's funny, it does something to your psyche. Having said that, we're both great. Anita's very busy. She's got a new series coming out, on premiering on Monday on TV. And um, I'm busy doing lots of publication work and launching my, my single. That's right. The album's out there. You can probably see one here. Uh, but the single's out tomorrow, the Back to the Light single. And, of course, you're still keeping busy with, with Queen, aren't you? We are, yeah, a lot still happening behind the scenes. Queen never dies, really, and I'm thank, you know, I have to be very thankful for that. It never sleeps either. We're always doing stuff, remixing stuff. I'm, I'm sitting here in the studio in which I did a lot of my solo material, but also we did a lot of work on the last Queen album, uh, the Made in Heaven album. And uh, things are always going on. We remix, we repolish, we repackage because there's a constant demand. Thank you from people out there who want to see the, some of the old material brought up to scratch in, in the modern media. So, yeah, we keep busy and we will be out. I'm working on my fitness, which is the best thing I can do right now, very, very avidly. Uh, so because next May we'll be out back on the road, hopefully, continuing the tour of the world, which we um, paused when COVID struck. That's uh, great to hear. Later. Brian, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Duncan. God bless.